Hey everybody, welcome to another Trahan Creek Outdoors video. This is Bill Williams. In today's video, I'm just giving you a quick garden hint. Now, I ask you to join me, but give me a second here to just update a couple of you that have asked. I have no problems at this point, knock on wood, with COVID-19. I got my usual congestive heart failure, AFib, pulmonary edema, plantar fasciitis, bad knees, uh, degenerated disc, and a few other problems commensurate with being 67 years old. But COVID-19 has stayed away from my door. Let's hope it continues that way, and I hope it does for you and your family. So stay safe, people. Now, let's take a look at this gardening tip. I think you'll like it. Here we go. seen on my other videos I use a rain barrel system this is just one barrel now what we're doing is watering today uh, here's what I want to show you first here's the barrel second here's the hose hooked up turned on and just runs on down to the garden the hose runs into the garden this way connects to another hose just because I don't have one that's long enough and we go on over to the actual raised beds. First, let's look at a raised bed that I'm working on. Haven't got it complete. Just got a few little pepper plants up and running. These are some sweet banana peppers, as you see, coming through. A few have germinated. Let's get them on up here, get this bed going. The second bed over, however, is one that I have planted. A, a few days ago, can't remember the exact date, got it on my garden records. And what I want to show you here is a neat little idea. I think you're going to like it. If you have, as I do, a cat that thinks these four foot raised beds with nice, deep, fresh, loose soil make excellent litter boxes for the cat, then uh, you might want to have a cat excluder. So what you are looking at is my version of a cat excluder. What is it? This is wire rack shelving cut to four foot lengths. Generally, you can buy them in the store pre-cut to four foot lengths, and that's what these are. What you have here to make this project work is you take one four foot section on each of the four sides, one, two, three, four, and then that leaves you some space in here for a fifth one. Now, there are a couple of little gaps, no big deal, but no cat, and probably no rabbit or much of any other kind of creature is going to try to get out in there under that wire. You might have an adventure squirrel. That would be about the extent of it. But these cat excluders work really nice. You keep your cat out of the bed until the plants are up enough to where they could be seen by the cat. They would know they're there and wouldn't necessarily dig your little plants up and that's the idea so these can grow up about five or six inches deep before you are high i guess is the right word five or six inches in height before you have to take the cat excluders off meanwhile very simple um you get sunlight in here no nothing blocks your sunlight and you get natural rainwater or any other water coming through now what this trick is all about is watering and cat excluding so here's another bed done the same way that we are watering. We are watering it here with rainwater out of the rain barrel. And while the pressure is low, as you can kind of see, it's a low pressure system. All you got to do is just move it around. Let it take its time and water for you on your sprinkler. And it just sits right up there. Water's really nice. Just a perfect arrangement. I don't know why I didn't think of this 13 years ago when I moved here and been gardening all this time without using all this nice arrangement, but I will never garden again without it. Now, how many of these do you need? I've got, I think right now, six beds and more coming to be put in. You don't need six cat excluders. Depends on how you plant them, but if you're planting them in rotation, I have two, enough for two, and that's 
pretty good to get some up and running. Then I can switch them over to another bed if I need to or whatever. But if you wanted to make three sets or four sets, it's real easy to do. Okay, that's how it works. And um, when uh, you try it, I think you'll like it. If you do try it, please leave me some comments below. And let me know how it works for you. If you see any improvements, that's fine. Let me know about those. You might want to twist tie them together just in case you would like to uh, keep them in position better. But I don't really think that's necessary. If you do need to weed, you can just easily pick a section up and pull a, a weed that pops up or something like that. So that's my new idea. Uh, let me know what you think about it. And as I said, if you try it and it works for you, I would enjoy seeing your comments. Got any questions, leave those also. Uh, if you don't mind and you like the video, please hit the like button. It helps my channel. And I can appreciate the support and do thank you for it. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. We appreciate that too. Okay, I will see you on a future video.